We are in such a period, a horrible period, that the practical things happening in our society is exactly the same thing that happens in horror film. When you watch film, you begin to imagine if I omeleme, if I fly in a phone film, now do more omeleme, I in a phone buy on a many fair. Amen. But it will not continue again. The Lord will uproot it. The Lord will destroy it. Amen. So today, God has a revelation for you. God has a word of counsel and advice. God has a consolation for you. God has a message of hope for you. And that message simply put is protect your head. Say it. It is not the time to lose your head. Protect your head. It is not the time to do what? To lose your head. What is happening in the society right now in our time completely cut off people's head and make them to go out without much thought about their lives. Carried away by emotions. Carried away by what they were seeing. And when you continue to believe what you are seeing and they allow them to rule your heart and the, heart and the head, eventually you will be a walking human being without a head. My prayer today is that everybody will go back and pick up his head and put it back on himself and begin to act appropriately according to the word of God and according to what you know and not according to what you see. Therefore, in the Bible, Ephesians chapter 6, look at what the Bible says, verse 12. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. That is the battle. You might think that you are battling with the kidnappers and the arm robbers. No. You might think that you are battling with the bad government and the nepotism of our times. No. Paul said, I alone for the beast of Ephesus. There is a beast in the land. Principalities and powers. If there was prince of Persia, there must be prince of Nigeria. And this prince must be overthrown. Come on, someone say amen to that. We do not wrestle with flesh and uh, blood. We are wrestling with principalities. People, uh, personalities that call themselves princes. They say we are the rulers. They say we are the authority. We must rule your country, rule your land, rule your family, rule your life. And we must rule. Everything you have is ours. The Bible says that Jesus is the head of all principalities. The Bible said that Jesus purchased the land by his blood. By creation, all things were made by him. So by creation, everything belongs to him. By redemption, he purchased everything that Adam lost by his own blood. This land is a private property of Jesus Christ. Nigeria is a private property of Jesus Christ. Ibo land is a private property of Jesus Christ. He purchased it. It belongs to him and no other person. Do you hear what I'm saying? And we cannot let it go. It must not go to any other hand. All the taxes of this country belong to Jesus. Purchased by his blood. And therefore, we must stand to fight. We must stand because Jesus must fight through us. Hallelujah. And you better understand the battle. He says, we do not wrestle against flesh and uh, blood. It is wrestling. It is not even fighting. Why? Because the battle is already won. Jesus has conquered everything. But the devil wants to wrestle. He wants to dribble you in order to get you down and take over. But we will not allow him to take over our land. Amen? Amen. Devil will not take over your destiny. Amen. He will not take over your family. Amen. He will not take over your marriage. Amen. He will not take over your children. Amen. He will not snatch your wealth away from you. Someone say amen to that. Amen. If this must be done, Verse 13, he says, therefore, come on, someone say, therefore. therefore. Take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day. And having done all, to stand. Take on the full armor of God. Child of God, this is a time to take up the full armor of God, not even one will be left behind, so that you will be able to withstand. Come on, someone say, withstand. 
the evil day. There is evil in our day. There is death in the air. There is death in the land. There is evil parading the land. But let me tell you, Jesus gave us the power to cast out all evil spirits. Who is responsible for killing evil spirit? I don't think it is the Holy Spirit. Who is responsible for kidnapping evil spirit? I don't think it is the Holy Spirit. Who is responsible for robbery evil spirit? I don't think it is the Holy Spirit. Who is responsible for chaos, for nepotism, for favoritism, for bad leadership evil spirit? But glory be to Christ. He's given us authority. He said in my name, you shall cast out the demons. They are responsible for this. So whenever you see this demon, cast him out and occupy till I come. Raise up your hand and say, my father, I shall occupy until you come. I shall occupy in my destiny. Occupy in my family. Occupy in my office. Occupy in my marriage. Occupy. 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 And I will not allow anybody to be enthroned upon my seat. Nobody can take away my seat. Nobody can take away my throne. Nobody can take away my land. Nobody can take away my destiny. Nobody can take away my business. Nobody can take away my wife. Nobody can take away my children. Do you hear that? Stand up to the east. Say nobody can take away my land. To the west, nobody can take away my land. To the south, nobody can take away what belongs to me. To the uh, north, nobody can take away what the Lord has given me. And I say amen, amen, amen. Sit down. He said, therefore, take up the full armor of God. But today, all the armor of God, we cannot expound on all of them. I pick only one. I pick verse 17. He says, and take the helmet of what? Salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. The whole salvation has been summarized. And it can only be operated through one weapon. Helmet. That is where the salvation is. So where is the salvation? In the head. Not in the heart. Not in the hand. Not by help. In the head. The head is the general manager of the whole body. Destroy the head and you have destroyed the heart. Destroy the head and you have destroyed the hand. For your arm and feet are only but ace to your brain work. If you destroy your brain this time around, you have destroyed all. Therefore, you need to protect your head. Amen? You need to do what? Some people have allowed their head to be disrupted. And when the head goes wrong, the whole system goes wrong. But I give glory to Almighty God that Jesus is the head of the church. And because the head of the church can never go wrong, the church can never be uprooted. Jesus said, I, I will build my church. And the case of hell shall not prevail. Say amen to that. Amen. Protect your what? Your head. My brother, what is in the head? You have the eyes on the head. The eye sees. The eye is responsible for vision. If you do not know where you are going, you will not know where you will reach. How are you protecting your vision? In the mind, in the midst of chaos, can you be, will you be able to say this is where I am heading for? Or are you totally thrown off in the midst of your confusion? Say, oh my eyes. I cannot throw you away. And become a blind man. My brother, confusion is capable of throwing your eyes away. That is why when somebody is uh, in total chaos, maybe uh, emotionally upset, maybe the good news or even bad news, that person will no more see road again. One the after eight years. But you have any more office, doctor. Oh, not gonna knock me 
and here at the Mexican. Some of us have resorted to emotion rather than your knowledge. Some of us, because of what you see, you don't come out again. Some of us have allowed emotion, emotion of love, emotion of hatred, emotion of anger, emotion of fear to control you rather than your head. If there is salvation, the only thing that can put it to work is the head. Otherwise, if the head refuses to function, then the whole salvation will be ruined. For with heart you believe, but with mouth you confess unto righteousness. Amen? Amen. It is with the mouth. Where is the mouth? The head. Your mouth represents your authority. Your mouth represents the power of the kingdom. Hallelujah, somebody. When Zechariah refuses to operate with his head and was talking rubbish in the presence of God, what did he do? He brought out his uh, padlock. Boom! Close the mouth. Because the mouth is capable of ruining the whole show. But where your eye is only showing you evil in the society and you refuse to see good and you are talking evil, you talk death, you talk problem, you talk kidnappers, you talk uh, 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 nepotism, you talk trouble up there, bad leadership, corrupt Nigeria, evil land, everywhere is corrupt, everywhere is evil, there is death in here, there is every... My brother, if you continue to say such a thing, you will lose your salvation. It is not only losing your life, but you also lose your what? Salvation. Fear will grab you. The Israelites, they said, those that went for spying, they said, we have seen the land, it is fruitful. Their eyes, we are able to see that one. But we also saw giants and we are like a grasshopper before them. In their eyes, as if to say they interviewed anybody. But they didn't interview anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that your mouth will say the right thing. I pray that your eyes will see the right end. Amen. Your ears will hear the right end. Amen. Protect your head, my brother. Protect your knowledge. Let not the physical things you see, the fact you see, do not allow them to corrupt the truth. The fact is something that is provable. The fact is that the society is evil. But the truth is that Jesus is still the Lord. The fact is that some of you are sick. But the truth is that Jesus has healed you. The fact is that there is trouble in your marriage. But the truth is that Jesus said, this is my peace, take it. You hear what I'm saying? The fact is that none shall be. The, the fact is that some are barren. But the truth is that none is barren in the church of God. Do not allow circumstances to talk you out. Of the truth of the salvation you have. Protect your what? Your head. Your head can only be protected when you dwell on what God is saying. The truth of what is happening in the society is that God is stirring up the society to build a new nation, to build new evil land. That is the truth. The truth is that the people you call the kidnappers and the armed robbers, they are soldiers of God. To wake him up the church in order that they might come back to prayer. That was why initially when they started kidnapping and we are hearing it at the north and the, I mean those are killings in the north. It never concerned anybody of you here. When they were kidnapping the rich men, did you do anything? You said ah, that the rich people, you are going on your way and the rich men were hiding up and down. God said look at these people. I am killing them and they don't even want to know. Now they are kidnapping the poor and the rich. And when they started kidnapping the poor and the rich, the priest was there doing nothing. Many priests never cared. And now they have come to kidnap the priest, whether it be the pastor, the reverend father, the Anglican priest, whoever he is, everybody kidnap. Hey, everybody must pray. Say glory be to God. Everybody must pray. And why is this thing happening? For our good. God said, I know my thoughts for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I know my plan for you. I sent into exile in order to show you I love you. I allow this people in the land to show you I do what? I love you. Why? Because the general aim is to tear up everybody. 
This country is a country where everybody allows every nonsense to go ahead. But this time around, the kind of problem that is in the land is creating enough agitation that everybody is now alert. For the first time, they are talking about the PVC, your voters card, and everybody is talking about it. For the first time, they want to put the right person at the, right, at the, at, at the post. God will still choose the person he wishes. For the first time, the church is concerned in what is happening in the society. For the first time, even the members, when you say, pray for Nigeria, everybody will pray. Initially, when you say, pray for Nigeria, you sit down. Pray for the rich man, you sit down. But when they say, pray against devil in your family, ba -ba 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 -ba, yeah, 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 you must die, that you must die, that you must die. Amen. So the handwriting of God on the air is wake up and do what? And pray. This is the right time. Because if we do not do it now, look at them like locust. A great army from the north is coming to swallow everyone up. They have done it to many nations and are planning to do it in Nigeria. They think they can do it again. But I'm standing here to show you the mind of God. It will never happen. You know why? The civil war is not like today. In the days of the Civil War, 1967 to 70, Abby, the gospel came to this land 1852 and they stayed 50 years to enter Newi. Do you know that? And that is in 1902. And from 1902, it is started. It took about 50 years to enter Enugu State in 1950-something. Gospel came to my own hometown in 1953 or so. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So, you see, the gospel has not so spread. And yet, it was going on the lateral level. It has not started growing its root down. They were only managing to go from here to there because of a bad road, because of inter-village wars. All these things hinder the gospel. But I can tell you, today is not like 1967. Today is not like uh, those days of a war. You know why? We have prayer men in the land. You know why? We have good Christians in the land. Believe it or not, Elijah said, I am the only man in the land that is a prophet. And what did God say? God said, I have 7,000 prophets in this land. Do not allow them to intimidate your head and they cut it off before they finally cut your head off. That is a plan of the Satan. They keep on telling you, we will take up your land, we will take up your land like a Goliath. Goliath kept on vomiting that poison and before you know it, the poison from his mouth swallowed up the army of Israel and they crumbled them and they let them paralyzed. Until a man that never swallowed their poison came from the forest. David was his name. Although a little boy, not even talented in the military, but because his mind is full of God. He stepped into the battle and the Goliath managed to send his poison. He set his own back. Goliath said, look, small boy, you think I'm a dog. You're coming to me with catapult and a stick. Where is your son? You have not. Your body is not protected. And you think you can fight such a giant like me that I've been a warrior since my youth? What did David say? He said, you have defied the army of Israel, the Lord of hosts. Who is the chief fighter for Israel? He said, today I will cut off your head with your sword. What a great shame. I will cut off your head with your sword and I will give your head and your body to the best of here. To the intent that the whole world might know that there's God in Israel. Come on! Bayaka teribahata, rikakuta and terimazaka. To the intent that people might know that there is God in this land. I tell you, all these kidnappers is a time thunder will strike. It is a time that will be a great earthquake in the land. And the day will be swallowed up in the land. I command this land to open up its mouth and begin to swallow all the armed robbers and to swallow all the kidnappers and to swallow all the evil men and to swallow them completely. That the man we know that there is God in Israel, that there is God in the church, that there is God in his church. The Bible says that God is in the temple. Therefore, everybody must keep calm. Nobody can insult the church. Nobody can come into the church and do any rubbish and get out of it. It's not possible. When they took the apostles and locked them up and they commanded them not to preach at all, 
The Bible said God sent an angel right inside the prison, brought all of them out and said, go and stand right before the temple and they preach the gospel. Come on, say my head is coming back. Some of us have thrown away all these things. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For the righteous must live by faith. It is not by fear. They come to us with God. We come to them with God. Capital G-O-D is stronger than G-U-M. They won't make us to fear. How, and in Nehemiah, Nehemiah said, how can a man like me fear? Fear of what? If I die today, I still go to heaven. And yet I will not die. You hear what I'm saying? It's time to flee fear. It's time to believe that the God of Israel neither sleeps nor slumber. Come up with your head, my brother. Go back to the word of God and understand. Stop hiding and stop rubbishing your life. Come back to your destiny. I, I, Isaac moved away to Egypt in the time of famine. Famine affected his mentality. God corrected it. He said, do not go down to Egypt. Remain in this land and I will bless you. The Bible said that he continued to wash great until he became very great. Come back to your head. Protect your head, my brother. Do not, because of hardship, corrupt your thinking. You are now angry with your wife. Come back to your head. Come back to your head. Come back to your head. Come back to your Think right. Manage the head. Because it is in the head that the government lies. Start seeing the right thing. A thousand will fall by you. And the ten thousand by your right hand. But the head says, Thou says the Lord Almighty, I shall stand. That's what the Bible says. If you allow the evil to catch up your head and they cut it off, you know what you are going into? A cupboard. That's true. So do not allow your emotion to clog, to be cloud your mind. This is period where people are going by emotion and no more by their mind. Come back to your mind. Do not allow your head to be what? Cut off. Hear the writing. And the only thing that you can hear is what the Lord says. Don't say the Lord, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Come on, say it. Say, Don't say the Lord. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Don't say the Lord. It shall be well with the righteous. Thor says the Lord, the sun cannot smite me by the day, nor the moon in the night. That is what my head must tell me. The Bible says that our battle is casting down evil imagination. Casting down what? When the devil brings an imagination and says, hey, 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 you are dying, you are dying. The Bible says, cast it down. Turn it upside down and march on it. Say it's a lie. Thor says the Lord. The number of my days shall be fulfilled. That is the battle. The battle is in the mind. If they destroy the mind, they have destroyed you. You hear what I'm saying now? Amen, somebody? Amen. Some of you, that stupid demon will come by your side and tell you, you see this pregnancy, you will definitely die in this pregnancy. And it will be singing in your mind. And you will be praying. What kind of prayer is that? We don't pray the such prayer. The answer is cast it down. The answer is not cast it away. Cast away is different from cast down. To cast away means to throw away. You can't throw it away because it has entered your mind. It will keep on echoing. But you cast it what? Down. That is turn it upside down. That thing that is telling you that you will suffer in your marriage. Whether they have told you in a dream or told you on the physical. It's a lie. Blessed is the man who finds a wife. What did he receive? Favor. Amen? If anything is telling you that this is a hard period, it's a lie. People have prospered in time of famine, in time of difficulties. That is your Bible. When people say that is casting down, I shall say that is what? And my God prepares a table for me in the midst of my enemies. So there may be enemies anywhere, but my table is sure. On a day table, no sonny room. Now you again. Somebody will happen in Babuneli good only. Continue not having it. Enjoy the food on the table. That's it. No one will get a table. I don't want to get a table because of one day. But we saw all the head cut off. Bypass. 
Be on your heart. Now manipulate it. You man, Larry, Larry, Larry. You be the best man can witch. Come back to your senses. Come on, somebody hit your head. Say, oh my head. Come back to me. Say, oh my eye. Say, oh Lord. Open my eyes. Amen. Amen. And don't forget the rod of your mouth. Stop saying your husband is evil. Your husband is a blessing. The moment you call him evil, he becomes evil. You call him an idiot, tongues will come out of his body. You call him Satan, he will grow tail. You call him a womanizer, he has one. Now he will grow to ten. That is why you have no permission to say what God has not allowed you to say. That's why you have no permission to say what your eyes are seeing. You have no permission to say what your ears are hearing. What you must say is what God says. God said that none of your children shall be destined to misfortune. God said that that your evil child is blessed. You are seeing evil manifesting, but God says, so long as it's from your womb, that child is what? Blessed. Therefore, agree with God and call him blessed and you see the blessedness come up. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Finally, I want to give glory to God because the head of the church is there. It has not been cut off. Amen. Jesus knows what to do in a time like this. What he is only pleading with you is to stand with him and not to mess up. A lot of people have gone into messing up because of the emotion. Because of your emotion, you have abandoned your wife for other women that is poor you. Because of your emotion, you have gone into stealing that is poor you. you because of your emotion, you have joined the Yahooists that is poor you. But I tell you, child of God, stand on the word of God. Stand on your knowledge because your knowledge can never fail you. The knowledge of the word of God can never fail you. God said, have you ever seen the righteous perish? The answer is no. What am I talking to you? Dig up and may it of work join here. Poor you. So no matter the sin in your life, it is time to come out of that sin. Do not allow anything to push you into sin. If you want to say that you are in Lagos, you are in a hotel, 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 poor you. That is lamentably poor. Now, class, my grandfather, Nandi na kuo do na kuo do konyo zota afu. Unu meke ta mifa unu mem no na mem gene. A kuo lo mo no do. Yeah, you will be killing yourself in the name of in the name of afflicting pain on others. Oh yeah, me le wu ye gidi we. Your business is booming, and because your husband, let me say your wife is evil. Amen. Because of that, you forget all the goodness of the Lord upon your life, and you move out. And they go into immorality in order to punish your wife. And when Satan jumps into your business and finishes you and it crosses you down, then I will know who, who, who. That is why we have many, 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 many widows. Men have taken very wrong decisions and they died in the process. Man, look at that. No, I do for a week. You know, come on. Oh, you have been a brain. Every book is here already. If it, if it, are you hearing what I'm saying? When the devil wants to take over, the first thing he does is to cut off the head. When the time of John the Baptist was over, the head was what? Cut off. And Jesus stepped up. May the devil never cut off your head. Yeah. I said, may the enemy by any means never cut off your head. Yeah. <laughs> If I in a meta car, but police or police, many of them are caught to get off. I'm telling you, this concept of undoga are caught to get off. You know I am organa. It was. It's not like in those days. I can get any woman I like. I da, 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 da. I can go to any place. I can. By the time you are climbing up, you were praying, you were struggling, you were crying, you were fasting, you were in fellowship, effort, night vigil, uh, morning prayer until you were helped. And you are climbed up. Now you have a house. Now you have married with the children. Now you have little money that could have, God could have used in sending you into kingship. All of a sudden you turn around and the pride entered. Ego entered. And you think now I am a, a guy. I am now a guy. A guy! You will see. Hello? 
Inu nuga soso ana nibo. No onye ai na afu enwere o onwele isi. Nya aka otoro isi ya. O ifo mi nu. Onwele isi. Makobu no onwele isi. O ya afu. He will be seen where he is going. Anya aka la gwi ogun. Nti aka la gwi ogun. Brain ya aka la gwi ogun. Only I could have said the right thing. Ma no onwele isi. Eba ka otoro isi e ke do no geji wefu. Eba ka otoro isi e ke anyo geji wefu zo. Eba ka otoro isi e ke nti o geji we no ife. Oga inwero isi. You you nothing to head. You got no head. You you. I must not tell you Amen. You nothing to no head, man. You have no head. Isiki Goliath ndoga buriane megini o te go cut le buriane apple. And you are parading your ego. Why in actual sense you are only full of idiosyncrasy? In actual sense you are blinded. Jesus said, you think you have money. You are a liar. Go and buy salve. And they put it in your eye that you might see. That's the problem. Ten million, twenty million, fifty million. EAG managing of Mofuma, we regrow, we bless. Look at the whole Nigeria, including Dangota, including all the presidents in Nigeria. None of them came even number one to ten. None of them was in the list. Of all the Yahoo, of all the money looting, of all the money laundering, of all the political whatever thing they are doing, not even number ten in the whole world. The last publication they made. Oh, the money Dangote makes in a year, the richest man in the world makes in a few hours. God said, I am God who gives you power to do what? May the Lord deliver your head. May you come back to right management of your home, right management of your business, right management of your salvation, right management of your life, right management of everything about your life in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can how you were deceived. When you were small, you were coming to God. And now you were blessed. And the God is preparing to send you into kingship. And you become a king in the land. And now it is time for you to train your children to take over from you. You are giving them wrong training, wrong example. Obama, the president of America, was a chain smoker. But shortly before the election, he stopped smoking. And they asked him, he said, I have two daughters. They have grown of age. I don't want to tell them, your dad is a chain smoker. If we are, and that decision alone brought him to presidency. Because the wife told him, you will surely fail. I cannot be in your party. He said, why? He said, because the president of America cannot be known as a chain smoker. Am I And they want to be a chain smoker, a womanizer, and be the president. Okay? In the kingdom of God, or them again, Lepawunye gije kolo vuego. That is the only way you can become a king in the kingdom of darkness. I'm telling you, if you're not going to give visible advice, the best advice I can give you. But for the kingdom of God, for you to continue in immorality, in adultery, in fornication, and in stealing, and you think that you can continue in that and excel, it is a lie. It is an infernal lie. It is a damned infernal lie. It has never happened and can never happen from now to everlasting. The power of God is a holy power. 